Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be reading the book called They Came by Mark Tullui. Why did they come? What do they want? Why are they here? So I seen the graphics for this book at the store and just decided to pick it up. Thought it might be a interesting read for children and could possibly start some different discussions if you're a teacher or parent. So let's see what this book is about. They came. When a spaceship lands on Earth, a small town launches into a frenzy. Why did they come? Everyone is warned to stay back, but one child realizes something no one else does. What do they want? As the spaceship door opens, the answer is revealed. Why are they here? And a small boy with a big heart shows how unexpected visitors can also be surprisingly sweet. They came. They, they came. All right, let's see here. Across the far reaches of inky space, past the glow of planets and sparkling stars, Why did they come? What do they want? Why are they here? The giant machine roared and hissed. It tweeted and creaked. It made all manner of mysterious sounds as it rolled into position for landing. Clop, clop, clop. The heavy metal feet hit the ground, shaking bicycle frames and spilling cups of juices everywhere. <laughs> Streams of steam and smoke flowed from holes in the iron face. And the odd robot ship stopped in its track and it became silent. Why did they come? What do they want? Why are they here? They came to steal our things, bored horn the police captain Pinchek. He ordered his officers to surround the great spacecraft with yards and yards of stand back and do not touch tape. They came to take over our TV shows and become more famous than anyone, announced the star reporter, Sprinkles Galore. She directed that bright lights be plugged in and cameras be focused on the huge motionless machine. They came to take our whole entire planet, blasted Tank Colonel Tourette. Secure the perimeter. He commanded in his grand commanding voice, but mostly because he loves saying words like secure and perimeter. Suddenly, the giant gadget from outer space 
groaned and burped. Then something like a door popped open. This is it. The end has come. Oh no. Start filming. Load the cannons. Stop! Screamed a high-pitched voice. It was Stephen Sprout, the smallish kid from Garnett Lane. Who wasn't even big enough for a two-wheeler. And was rumored to sleep with the nightlight. And here was that same smallish Stefan standing in front of all the cops and cameras and cannons. With this humongous metal space creature right behind him. Why did they come? What do they want? Why are they here? They came. For marshmallows. Puffy pal, wow, marshmallows. <laughs> Everyone pointed at Stefan and laughed. Just then, the great rubbery tube sprang from the spaceship's open doors and then stopped right where Stefan stood. At the end of the tube was a metal box and on the metal box was a small door. No, don't open it. We're doomed. Are you getting this? box was a cup and in the cup was mm, delicious hot chocolate it was slightly spicy a little salted super sweet and creamy and full of flavors he never tasted before it was almost the best hot chocolate in the universe And Stephen knew just what it was missing. Hmm. So he poured those marshmallows in that metal box. See? <laughs> they came from marshmallows. How? How did you know? How did you know they came for marshmallows? Because everybody just like marshmallows. But they came for something else, too. And guess what they came for? We came to share! Now this is Sweet TV said the reporter. The Great Marshmallow and Hot Chocolate Picnic. And that was the story of They Came. If you like this story and you like content like this, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you are interested in purchasing this book, there will be a link in my description below. Thank you.